What's going on? It's your boy, Kenny T, Kilo, Tango, Aviation. And today, we're going to talk about pilot judgment and pilot skill. Which one's better? Which one's more important? And I'll tell you like this. It's always better to have superior pilot judgment so you don't got to use your superior pilot skill. Think about it. If you're in a situation where now you got to demonstrate your ability to do gangster pilot stuff, then you probably got in a situation where you ain't use the best judgment to get there. So let's talk about that real quick. So I had one of my people call me the other day. We were talking about a situation where his student, so this is a CFI, so this is another layer of not just being a pilot, but being an instructor. And you end up in a situation where you end up having to do some real pilot stuff to keep you out of a bad situation. And then we talked about it. He was like, well, if I should, what should I have done? And should I have done the maneuver better or figured out a better technique to do the maneuver? And it's like, no, let's think about it. What could you have done to not have to be in a situation where you had to demonstrate your superior pilot skill? Because if you're in a situation where you got to use your superior pilot skill, you got, and you make it, you got some luck on your side too, because it just don't be the right maneuver, right move or the right move if that's where you at. For example, if you end up in a situation where you're on approach to landing and something crazy happened and you end up like stalling the airplane or something while you're on, on the approach and you then get out of it, what could you have done to keep you from, to recover from the stall? Well, not get in the stall. That's the first thing. Don't stall the aircraft on approach landing. Don't, uh, end up don't fly into bad weather where now you got to fly with a crazy crosswind that's outside the limits of the airplane because people say well what happens if i end up in a situation where i have a, more of a crosswind than i can handle or what happens if i end up with less fuel than than i need and i'm short on fuel going back well these are situations that could have been fixed by using good judgment and not trying to use your skill to outmaneuver your bad decisions so here's a couple things you can do overall to help build your pilot judgment. So first, don't focus so much on how to do maneuvers. Well, let me rephrase that because you gotta know how to do maneuvers because that's something that you can do. It's something that you practice a lot, a lot, a lot. But to be a good pilot, you gotta also be able to make good decisions. So focus on what barriers you put in place when doing maneuvers. What things do you do that kind of help you out? For example, when you're in the practice area, you have certain altitudes that you do maneuvers. That way, it gives you a barrier. That way, if things go wrong, you have a way to save yourself or you have a buffer to keep you out of being in a really bad situation. Those are things, those are decisions, even though those things are kind of in place by either standards in the ACS, in the, the regulations, or in your school, there's things that are put in place to kind of help you if you get in a bad situation to help you out. But sometimes you got to add some things yourself, which is why also you learn about personal minimums as a private pilot, instrument pilot, commercial pilot. You have personal minimums to help give you a barrier that helps your decision making to keep you out of bad situations, to keep you out of bad weather, keep you from being low to the ground with new maneuvers, things like that. Another thing you could do outside of adding those, those things is chair fly your decisions. So whether you do, you know, Aviate, navigate, communicate when you have emergency or matter, maintain aircraft control, analyze the situation, take proper action, land as soon as conditions permit. Go through and talk through how you're going to actually deal with the scenario. So if you lose an engine, yeah, you know you got to run the checklist, right? But think about, all right, well, I'm going to land and try to land at this airport. I'm going to try to land at that airport because of this. And you talk through the steps of the decision. And as you're talking through it on the ground, you start to figure out where you have holes in those decisions. That way, if something actually does happen, you've already thought about different scenarios or different decisions that could be made that may end up good or may end up bad. But you're not trying to come up with all of those answers on the fly. You've already kind of talked through it. And you've already thought about what you can do. So it's not a surprise. It's not an issue. You know, that's why you practice. But you remember, you're not just practicing how to do maneuvers and checklists. You're practicing decision making. The other thing is 
look back at flights you have and look back at situations and don't just ask, what did I do wrong in this maneuver? Ask yourself, how did I end up in that situation? Analyze what you did to get there, the decisions that you made, the steps that got you there. You know, break that chain that got you to the point where a situation happened. So take a step back and ask yourself, all right, what did I do before this thing happened that led up to that? What decision could I have made? You know, and those are some things. So, so focus on your decision making, chair fly your decisions, and then also ask how you got there. Those are three things you could do to kind of start to improve your ability to make superior pilot judgments so you ain't got to rely on your skill because your skill also counts on a little bit of luck. I'll take lucky over good any day, but you only got so much luck. And the things that we do can help minimize risk. Now, we know that you can't get rid of all risk because flying, the only way you can be 100% risk-free is not getting the airplane. But it's about balancing it and making the right decision. So let's use that superior pilot knowledge and not just rely on that superior pilot skill. There you go. Kenny T out.